Hey there doll collectors, so today I'm going to open up the Princess of the French Court and the Barbie who is the Swan Queen in Swan Lake. These two are my favorites out of the lot that I was given and so I wanted to open them up together. Oh dear God, feathers! Oh sheesh! Her feathers are fluffing off all over the place. Oh, this cannot be good. I was not expecting that. Okay, so... Um, I have a love for ballet. You can kind of see a painting that I have uh, on the wall. And I did that when I was in... 10th grade? 11th grade? Something like that. It was the late 90s. It was very close to the millennium. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Oh my giddy aunt. This doll is gorgeous. And her box is so pretty. It really is. This beautiful interior design. Oh my gosh. So when um, we did presents with my niece and nephew. Um, I gave my niece um, the My First Barbie, which was a ballerina with a blue tutu and everything. This one, they not, they um, actually already had her shoes tied on to her, thank goodness. But, yeah. The, the <laughs> ribbon is also kind of tangled up with the rubber band. So I'll still have to fix that. Her dress snaps in the back. No velcro here. And of course it is sheer white because she is the swan from Peter Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. And I actually love that piece of music. I love uh, this delicate hand pose that they have with the um, outturned arms. I have the Egyptian Queen from the Great Heirs Collection, and she has the same type of arms. And she has rooted eyelashes. This one has teal eyes, but with a periwinkle eyeshadow. Her hair is done up in kind of a smushed up bun. I'm going to have to take out the rubber band. She has delicate little feathers adorning her tiara little tiny silver crown she's got pearl earrings and a pearl headpiece and of course her tutu here has these little parts that kind of resemble feathered wings she is so graceful looking looks like she could just fly at any second she has the standard saddle style stand with sticker label. And her brush is a light blue, but it has a metallic pearlescent sheen. Very pretty. Very pretty. And of course, the inside here we got a crescent moon. We've got pictures of swans on the water. very lovely. I wish of course that they would decide to make the black swan because she's part of the story and not every ballerina has to be in either pink or white. Of course I say that when yes there was you know the blue one but still they have yet to make a black tutu for a ballerina doll. And I would just love that. I really would. Okay. Got all these little metal twisty ties. <laughs> oh. This is kind of one thing that uh, I don't miss so much comes to dolls nowadays. Sometimes these things were just really secured in there. 
Like, dang. <laughs> okay. Ah, and now when it comes to the princess of the French court, I have several princesses of the world. And I have always loved how this one looked because I just love the lush, rich purple and the gold of her gown. And she just gave me such Juliet vibes that I, I just had to have her. But she was always kind of uh, elusive for me. So I just kind of bid my time. After a while, kind of gave up hope. But now I've got her. Interesting how they secured each individual shoe in the corners here. Seriously? I mean, usually they either got them strapped on or they've got them secured in a little separate packet that you have to open up, but tucking them away in the corner like that? Okay. Alright, and now we have the stand. Oh, come on. Or, really? Okay, I'm not gonna fuss. We are here to talk about this beauty. Oh, oh goodness. There must have been some sort of moisture in the box because her legs are very oily. The rubber of her legs has got some sort of weird condensation on it. That's okay. Um, her face is good. She has got very pale eyes. I'm going to say they are like a pearly winkle blue. And nude lipstick, natural eye makeup, uh, gold stud earrings to go with her crown and I love the strawberry blonde hair this is kind of how the color was when I was a kid yeah my hair was much lighter back then her twist got a little flattened in the box the rubber band of course is gonna have to get taken out I love this gorgeous dress we have velvet and then we've got sheer mesh and we've got this nice brocade here and we've got the trim and this is actually a separate piece this brooch oh my goodness and then she has the uh, purple slip-ons now not every princess comes with the uh, flat shoes but most of them do the princess of Ireland the princess of uh, the Portuguese Empire and I think the princess of the Renaissance I think those all came with flats, but then my princess of, um, the Dutch princess came with little white, uh, blocky ankle boots. What did Princess of Holland come with? I don't remember. Uh, anyway. Mm, she's gonna fit in so well. And her crown is, of course, adorned with fleur-de-lis. She is lovely. Her box, will describe, says... Inspired by the grandeur of the age of chivalry of a time of romance and valor, she wears a regal gown of deep, rich purple, the color of royalty. The split skirt is designed with an inset of purple and gold as jacquard, lavishly embellished with a gold trim and gleaming gold medallion. The dress is complemented by a gold ring and earrings. Yes, and there's her ring. The final crowning touch is her golden tiara incorporating the fleur-de-lis design. The symbol of royal, the royal family of France, which proudly decorates the coat of arms. <coughs> mm. Yes. And um, I might rebody her just because of the issue going on with her legs. Uh, I've rebodied several of my Princesses of the World dolls, so yeah, it's not really that much of an issue for me to uh, put her on a more articulated body for nice, respective. Posing. And this ballerina deserves it too, but she's really gorgeous like this as she is. So these two are my favorite from 
my friend who gave them all to me and I'm just so happy to share them with you and to basically have them as my birthday and Christmas gifts because oddly enough I didn't get any dolls from anybody nope I got socks I got art supplies I got uh, a new shirt and I got a cute little Yoshi plushie but yeah, I didn't get any dolls from anyone so <laughs> and this kind of makes up for it. Alright, well, thank you guys for staying tuned and watching, and of course, always stay tuned for more. Bye!